2021. I'm Joey Smokey, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about chemical reactions. Chemical reactions. They make things go, right? They do. By the way, my name is Kevin Martin. And we'll be drinking today's episode. Drinking today's episode, you say? Yeah, just water. It's good for you. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. Should always stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. So, Kevin. Yeah? If you have gunpowder and dynamite in the presence of oxygen, mm -hmm. what happens? Uh, boom goes the dynamite. That's right. Everything is made of chemicals. And when some chemicals get together, they react. Now that's a chemical reaction. And that is a chemical reaction. I see. What do chemical reactions do? Make things go? That's right. All right. So your basic chemical reaction is going to look like this. You have your reactants on your left side, mm -hmm. and you've got your products on your right side. OK. OK? So it's pretty simple. You know, gunpowder, dynamite, oxygen, it reacts, and what happens? Boom. Boom. Goes to dynamite. And now for a really big chemical reaction. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So here we have an example of a little bit more practical chemical reaction, something okay. that makes this stuff. Water? Water. Okay. Okay. So we have hydrogen uh -huh. and oxygen uh -huh. as our reactants. Right. Okay. And then we have H2O, also known as water, also known as dihydrogen monoxide. technical about it. Okay? All right. So here's our reactants, there's our products. Okay. It's pretty simple stuff, right? Now, I want to know something. What are these green numbers we have here? What's that all about? So that's a fancy little invention created by chemists known as coefficients mm -hmm. to do what's called balancing chemical reactions. Balancing, you say? Yes. There's this thing in, uh, from the second law of thermodynamics. Ooh. Fancy, right? Okay, and what it states is that matter is neither created nor destroyed. Have you heard that before? I have heard that before. Sounds yes. familiar. Now, when we go back to this example, the, gun, the gunpowder and the dynamite goes what? Boom! Dynamite! Even though it went boom, you haven't destroyed any matter and you haven't created it. You don't say. I, do, I, I Absolutely. Wow. So instead what happened is that the boom, the boom part, is basically sound and light and heat. So you haven't destroyed energy, you basically just converted it. Oh, so you, it went from one form to another. Exactly. Okay. So when we take our water example, mm -hmm. we've started with stuff, and we've ended with the same stuff. It's basically just kind of rearranged differently. Mm -hmm. It's changed into a different state. So... Here there's four hydrogens. Yep. And on this side there's still four hydrogens. Yep. And on this side there's two oxygens. Mm -hmm. And on this side there's still two oxygens. So these green numbers are there to balance things out, make sure there's the same things on one side as there are on the other. Exactly. Because you can't change the subscripts down here. Okay. Those little orange twos, like the O2, can't change that. But okay. you can change the number of the whole thing. So when we see this green two, this is saying two H2s. Where you got your four H's, you know, same thing over here. Mm -hmm. So that's what the coefficients do. Okay. Chemistry is awesome. That it is. And what happens with the dynamite? Boom! Goes the dynamite. Dynamite! All right. Okay, so here's another example to kind of make sure we can think about the balancing chemical reactions a little bit more. Okay. So we have sodium and chlorine coming together to make table salt, sodium chloride. All right. Okay. I'll take a whirl at this. Okay, so. Start with sodium. Mm -hmm. Sodium, there's only one sodium on this side. Yep. On this side, there's also only one sodium. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Yep. All right, so the subscript here means there's two chlorines, mm -hmm. and then there's only one chlorine here. Uh-oh. Yeah. So you're saying I can't change these subscripts, right? Nope. Can't change them at all? Can't nope. add anything? Okay. They're written in stone. Ah, I see. So... I guess that means I'll have to mess with the coefficients. That's right. So you can change those. Yes. So I guess I'll be sneaky and just put a two here. Yep. And now all of a sudden there's two chlorines. Yes. And that's okay. Yep. 
But wait a minute. Ah. Now there's two sodiums on this side, but mm -hmm. only one on this side. Yep. So to fix that. Oh. You just put it two here. You bet. Absolutely. That just makes two sodiums on this side, two sodiums on this side. And then two chlorines here, two chlorines here. It's balanced. It's balanced. And mm -hmm. you have fulfilled the second law of thermodynamics. Ka-ching! <laughs> Physics will be proud of you. Hooray. And chemistry, because chemistry is awesome. Mm -hmm. That it is. All right, so Kevin. Yeah? Have you noticed we have hydrogen, H2, oxygen, O2, chlorine, Cl2. Yeah. I'm Why not. do you think we have the twos there? Why wouldn't it just mm -hmm. be themselves? Well, I don't know, but I was always told that to um, have no fear of ice cold beer. That's right. That's a little mnemonic. That it is. Uh huh. So and what does it mean? It tells you the seven diatomic elements. Uh huh. Okay. The diatomic elements, di meaning two, mm -hmm. um, tell they're basically elements that exist in pairs. Okay. So in other words, they're bonded with themselves in nature. All right, okay. they don't like being alone, I guess. That's right, they like the company. Okay. So they like being paired up. All right. Okay, so have no fear of ice cold beer. Right. This is referring to the seven diatomic elements, hydrogen, nitrogen, fluorine, oxygen, iodine, chlorine, and bromine. Okay, so that's what all these letters stand for. That's right. So it's not just random... Nope. Sentence. Okay. Yep. Chemistry is supposed to make sense. Remember well, that. Yeah, that, that is quite helpful, I have to say. Yep. So whenever you're dealing with chemical reactions or anything like that, always remember that these diatomic elements are going to be existing in twos, like O2, H2, stuff like that. So whenever you have hydrogen by itself, it has to be H2, or if you have oxygen by itself, it yep. has to be O2. It yep. can't just be an H or an O floating by itself. Right. That's bad. Okay. Because otherwise water wouldn't happen. That is bad. That is bad. we got to have water, because water tastes good. Yes. And we also have to use wire to put out what happens with the dynamite. Boom! Dynamite! We gotta make sure we put that out if it gets out of hand. Yeah, I yeah. bad. Alright, so there's chemical reactions. All right. What happens with the dynamite? Boom goes the dynamite. Dynamite! Don't forget it. Alright. See you later. See ya. Cause I'm TNT! I'm dynamite!